Hello there guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD and welcome to another Black Ops 2 Zombies video. We're going to be looking at the transit storyline again, but this time we're going to be looking focused only on the bus driver and certain quotes that may lead to locations in transit, as well as a lot of interesting additional information and I think you'll find that this is really, really helpful. So if you're logged into a YouTube account, there is no better time than right now to smack that like button. Your feedback and support is always, always appreciated. Anyway, let's get to this. Now our bus driver is actually called TED, which stands for Technically Elaborate Driving Droid. And he's the operator of the bus carrying us in transit and is responsible for carrying and transporting us through destinations across the world. Now despite having survived the rockets that hit Earth, TED looks no better than his smashed up bus. His uniform is nothing more than just a tattered blue rag draped over his torso and anything used to hide his face has been torn away revealing this brass yellow skull and glowing blue eyes. He doesn't have a left arm and his right arm hangs limply suggesting that he may be hardwired into the bus steering system hence why he doesn't actually need to drive it using the steering wheel he can just freely control it and uh, the only piece of clothing that doesn't seem to be damaged is his hat which reads bloodhound on it. Now throughout your travels in transit you will hear Ted say a variety of different quotes and what I'm going to be looking at is the specific quotes where he's speaking about locations on uh, when you're getting to the next stop. He says stuff that isn't technically in the game, but it kind of gives a load of backstory to loads of different things, which I think people haven't really seen or paid much attention to, which is what I'm going to break down for you now. So here's the first quote. Yellowstone Park. Step off the bus to see beautiful Yellowstone Park. Yellowstone Park is actually Yellowstone National Park, which is a national park located primarily in the US state of Wyoming, although it also extends into Montana and Idaho. The Yellowstone, which is widely held to be the first national park in the world, is known for its wildlife and its many geothermal features, especially the Old Faithful Geyser, which is one of the most popular features in the park. It has many types of ecosystems, but the subalpine forest is dominant. And what I'm going to read to you now is an excerpt from a blog which is actually speaking about Yellowstone and they call it the Yellowstone Super Caldera because of its uh, huge amount of powerful military explosives being covertly planted around it and the fact that it's, it's a pretty volcanic area. So say in their previous report, Dark Secrets of Yellowstone National Park, the person shared how his investigative research while working at Yellowstone Park, uncover the information confirming secret underground military testing and experiment labs in Yellowstone Park, complete with secret entryways. In one case, a cave concealing an entrance in the Old Faithful region, plus the admissions of various military sources that Yellowstone is going to blow, and that the US military plan to be the inst instigators through high explosives planted around the region. One military source who had previously been in the underground military facilities in Yellowstone Park, who later interviewed, admitted that this was why there were so many underground military facilities in that region. He said, Yellowstone is going to blow, and they know it. And he admitted they intended to help it blow as well. Furthermore, Russia has been steadily beaming harp elf frequencies, and we'll get onto harp later, into the ground throughout Yellowstone Park for years now. A warning flyer circulated among employees at Yellowstone Park this summer, admitting that about this unsettling phenomena. Why are elves being beamed into Yellowstone Park? When harp frequencies are beamed into the ground, they have the effect of softening the rock and destabilizing the ground. And a result of this is helping to trigger the eruption of the Yellowstone Park super volcano to create a state of chaos throughout this region. Please gather all top secret files and disembark for Deep Springs Gravitational Anomaly. Ah, uh, Deep Springs Gravitational Anomaly. Well, Deep Springs is in California and it's an area that is becoming known as the site for very strange events. According to information from, uh, from weird sources, the area is full of strange people wandering around in black suits. There have also been rumours that there is an underground facility in the area. Checking with gravity anomaly maps prove that there are large cavities under the ground in that area. The wildest claims relative to the area have stated that alien life forms are being released there, and Deep Springs lakes have been probed and it appears bottomless. Divers have travelled along an underground river 27 miles towards the Las Vegas area before having to turn around. And according to other sources, 
There's a story that goes around where centuries ago, surface people entered into a pact with an alien nation hidden within the earth. The US government in 1933 agreed to trade animals in exchange for high tech knowledge and allow them to use underground bases in the western USA. A special group was formed to deal with the alien beings. In the 1940s, alien life forms began shifting their focus of operations from Central and South America to the entire United States. The Hatchaby Ranch, just ahead. Please gather your biohazard suits if the Hatchaby Ranch is your stop. The Tehachapi Mountains are a mountain range in the Traverse Ranger system of California in the western US. The range extends for approximately 40 miles in southern Kern County and northeastern Los Angeles County. Now it appears that three research facilities operated by Northrop, McDonnell Douglas and Lockheed are involved with developing new types of aircraft which possibly utilise anti-gravity propulsion. There are also reports by people who say they work at these facilities. They describe huge elaborate underground complexes that are linked together by tunnels. Not only that, but some local residents have told UFO researchers that they have been abducted and taken to an underground facility where they report seeing humans in military uniforms and small grey-skinned alien beings. The Northrop facility goes by the name of the Tajan Ranch. It's sometimes referred to by UFO researchers as the, ha- the Tehachapi Ranch. It's located in the foothills of the Tehachapi Mountains at the mouth of Little Oak Canyon about 25 miles northwest of Lancaster, California. It is not under restricted airspace, although the public is told that this is a cattle ranch. No livestock are visible anywhere on the property. UFO researcher Bill Hamilton says that if asked, North Rock Corporation will say that this is an electromagnetic research facility. Now, signs in this area read, Danger, poison devices in the area. These devices are dangerous. They contain deadly cyanide. Stay away and keep your dogs away. These devices are the property of the United States government and are used for protection of livestock and game animals. Tampering with these devices or this sign is a federal offence. The United States Department of Agriculture. If you see here the shot that I've been showing, uh, the long wide surfaces are not runways. There are white painted diamond shaped openings on these surfaces and a white pylon is visible in the centre of one diamond shape. A pylon rack and antenna array are located near the main buildings. Now one obvious purpose of this and the other facilities operated by McDonnell, Douglas and Lockheed is for stealth aircraft research. Various objects or aircraft shapes can be placed on the pylons and radar or other types of energy can be projected at the aircraft shapes so that the reflected energy can be measured or other types of experiments can be made. There may be other purposes for this arrangement however and the Northrop facility is rumoured to have at least 42 underground levels and is said to connect to other underground facilities by an extensive network of subterranean tunnels. Greenbrier Resort. Everyone off for Greenbrier Resort. The Greenbrier is a Forbes four-star and triple A five-diamond award-winning luxury resort located just outside the town of White Sulphur Springs in Greenbrier County, West Virginia, United States. Now, the Greenbrier is also the site of a massive underground bunker that was meant to serve as an emergency shelter for the United States Congress during the Cold War. It was codenamed Project Greek Island and Fritz Bugas was former on-site superintendent. In the late 1950s, the US government approached the Greenbrier for assistance in creating a secret emergency relocation centre to house Congress in the aftermath of a nuclear holocaust. The classified underground facility named Project Greek Island was built at the same time as the West Virginia Wing, an above-ground addition to the hotel from 1959 to 1962. The underground facility contained a dormitory, kitchen, hospital and a broadcast centre for members of Congress. The latter had changeable seasonal backdrops to appear as if members of Congress were broadcasting from Washington, D.C. The convention center used by the Greenbrier guests for business meetings was actually a disguised workstation area for members of Congress, complete with hidden 30-ton blast doors. The walls of the bunker were made of reinforced concrete designed to withstand a nearby nuclear blast. Attention passengers, next bus stop is the island of Hawaii. We're all going to drown. <laughs> I think that quote's quite funny, actually. But Hawaii is the most recent of the 50 US states and is the only US state made up entirely of islands. 
to the northernmost island group in Polynesia, occupying most of an archipelago in the central Pacific Ocean. Now, the state encompasses nearly the entire volcanic Hawaiian island chain, which comprises of hundreds of islands spread over 1,500 miles. And Hawaii is made up of eight main islands, the biggest one being the island of Hawaii. Now, the island of Hawaii is built from five separate shield volcanoes that erupted somewhat sequentially, one overlapping the other. Now, the places known as hotspots in geology are volcanic regions thought to be fed by an underlying mantle that is hot compared with the mantle elsewhere. They may be on, near to, or far from tectonic plate boundaries, and there are two hypotheses to explain them. One suggests that they are due to hot mantle plumes that rise as thermal diapers from the core mantle boundary, the other hypothesis postulates that this is not high temperature that causes the volcanism, but lithospheric extension that permits the passive rising of melt from shallow depths. So to put in layman's terms, Hawaii has five main volcanoes and one of them is extinct, one's dormant, and then three of them are active. And volcanoes, of course, link to our Earth, which is destroyed and we have lava spewing everywhere.